Hey folks, I'm very glad to bring you our new online course, the ultimate introduction to Arnold 6 for Cinema 4D. We have been working on this course for the past 10 weeks and it feels amazing to finally be able to make it available to you guys. It's a 700 minutes course, almost 12 hours in 84 videos. Every single minute of those 700s is planned and thought for. There is no rambling. You get the top-notch quality you've come to expect from MoGraph Plus. Now let's talk about the course itself. We start off the course by introducing Arnold for Cinema 4D, where to find different Arnold tools and functions and walk you through the general workflow to get your job done with Arnold inside Cinema 4D. Sampling and ray depth are the most important principles that you should be familiar with when working with Arnold. That's why we discuss them comprehensively in 42 minutes and in 8 lessons. We make sure you comprehend the core principles before moving on to more general topics like lighting and shading. The next section of the course is all about lighting. You'll learn about the fundamentals of lighting and different lighting techniques while learning about the vast and unique lighting tools that Arnold offers. We'll learn about area lights, spot, distance and point lights, mesh and photometric lights. We'll learn what are light filters and how to use them to direct lighting very specifically. We talk about physical sky and image-based lighting. You'll learn how to approach interior and exterior lighting in Arnold for Cinema 4D. We'll learn about the amazing volumetric effects in Arnold, including atmospheric volume and fog. And finally, we discuss how to use Arnold's light manager to be able to manage all the lights in the scene in one single window. The lighting section of the course is about 1 hour and 40 minutes in 13 lessons. In the next section of the ultimate introduction to Arnold 6 for Cinema 4D, we start talking about Arnold shaders and nodes. Not only you'll learn about all the specific Arnold shaders, but after watching this section, you will be equipped with the core shading fundamentals and cutting edge techniques in shader development. First, we get to know the Arnold shader network in depth. Then we'll learn about the powerful standard surface shader, which is capable of creating all sorts of materials. We dedicated nine videos to this shader. Then we discover bump and displacement mapping. After that, I will introduce you to a new simplified approach to shader creation. I will show you how to create some of the most daily shaders like plastic, wood, concrete, metals, and so on. You also learn how to create highly realistic human skin shader using the standard surface shader. Standard hair shader will be covered in detail. It's an easy to use yet powerful shader. We'll be talking about the robust car paint and tune shaders as well. We'll learn how to read and render MoGraph and field colors and render them with Arnold. Then we'll learn about layer and mix, flats, lambert, two-sided, color jitter, triplanar, ray switch, ambient occlusion, curvature, shadow mat, utility, substance shader, color and utility nodes, math, conversion and shading state nodes, and much more. Hopefully after watching this section, you should be very good at developing complex shaders in Arnold. The shading section of the course is about four and a half hours in 32 videos. Then we'll learn all about cameras, camera types, depth of field, motion blur, and everything that relates to working with cameras in Arnold. Section six of the course is all about rendering with Arnold. First, we discover the powerful IPR or interactive preview render window. Then we talk about GPU rendering in Arnold and clear all the misconceptions about it, like why sometimes it takes so much time before GPU rendering starts and so on. Arnold's implementation of GPU rendering is quite good as you can switch between CPU and GPU rendering flawlessly. Then we talk about ACES, a system to manage colors in all levels of the production. I will give you an overall understanding of what ACES is and does. Then I share a few examples comparing ACES and the default color manager and show you why ACES is just way better. Then we take a look at Arnold driver and how to export still frames and animations with Arnold. After that, we dive deep into the subject of AOVs. What are the AOVs that Arnold offers and how to save them out? We talk about custom AOVs, global AOV shaders, crypto mat workflow, AOV light groups, and finally compositing AOVs in Fusion will be covered, both the famous back to beauty composite with the essential AOVs and the light mix composite which lets us to relight our scene completely after the render in a very easy manner. After that we talk about different render settings in Arnold including adaptive sampling, texture settings, and TX manager. We cover NVIDIA's real-time optics denoiser and Arnold's own powerful post-render denoiser in depth with a lot of comparative examples. The rendering section of the course is about 2 hours and 35 minutes in 15 lessons. In the final section of the course, we take a closer look at Arnold's scatter object, Arnold parameters tag, Arnold scene export to USD and ASS files, and Arnold procedurals. 
Then we'll learn how to deal with particles and splines. We also take a look at some of the very useful Arnold utilities. And at last, we'll learn about Arnold volume. I show you all the steps you need to render OpenVDB files in Arnold and how to render amazing and realistic fire, smoke, and explosions in Cinema 4D thanks to the standard volume shader. If you want to learn Arnold for Cinema 4D, this is the course to get, period. We work really hard on our courses to assure the quality of them and you get an academically oriented, well-structured course that will take you to the next level of your career as an artist. My name is Kamel Khazri from Mograph Plus and I'm honored to be your host for this course. So sign in or sign up and let's get started.